Are you using your Twitter header background to its full potential? Stay tuned, I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel you should use it. So, your Twitter header background, it's this lovely image space you have at the very top of your Twitter profile. And unfortunately, I see a lot of Twitter accounts either with a landscape, yes, they're beautiful, but what does it mean for your Twitter followers? Uh, or worse, just a solid color, nothing on it whatsoever. And I think it's a real missed opportunity because, you know, with the Twitter header, Twitter header background, you know, you can actually kind of put in a real mission statement about what it is you offer, what's your account about. Like if you look at mine, I have obviously my branding, the Curly Marketer, and my mission statement that I want to try and help small to medium businesses, you know, get onto social, promote them and grow their business. So if there's a business that is like that and likes what I see and visits my page, particularly on mobile, don't forget, um, my message may instantly kind of resonate with them. Another excellent account I would suggest you look at, it would be Kim Garst. And here's Kim's, you know, kind of Twitter header background. Instantly, you get a feel from her message who her target audience is and what she wants to try and do to help that target audience. So if that resonates with you, you'll instantly gravitate towards Kim's account. So look at your Twitter header background, make sure that you're telling and drilling, be very clear as to what it is you're about, what you're offering so that you have the best chance to kind of really nail it with your target audience. Hope you enjoyed that Curly Marketer tip. I'll be back with another one fairly soon. And do as always, follow me here on Twitter at Pete Twyford. Check me out on LinkedIn and visit my website, thecurlymarketer.com. Take care.